Non-metals. Metals. They're complementary machines, especially if you're producing merch or promotional items for your business customers. Thumb drives. Everybody needs one, including students. Today, I'll give you my settings for two different colors to engrave metal thumb drives, and then we'll walk through on the Aurora light and I'll show you my steps and we'll get them engraved. Here, on LaserNug. So here in Lightbird, I'm just gonna take you down to the bottom right to my library. I was fortunate enough that I found the materials library or the starter library from Thunder Laser USA. If you're not sure where to find that or where to load it, I'll put a link up above me, I think to the left of me, and you can grab that library. These thumb drives are made of metal. And at the time, of course, there's a lot of different items in here like aluminum, uh, stainless steel, um, ABS, leatherette, etc. But there was no metal category. So I had to do a little bit of testing on these. So I've created one here called metal. And if you open it up here, I've created one for thumb drive. That's because you're going to find a lot of products that you want to try to engrave are just going to be called metal. They're not going to say aluminum or copper or brass or stainless steel or steel. They'll just be general metal. So for each one, you may find you're going to need different settings. But what I will give you here is an engraved setting that'll give you black. And that's a shallow engrave, but a nice black or a dark gray color. My settings are 500 millimeters per second at 60% power, frequency of 50 kilohertz, 1000 lines per inch, 45 degree scan angle, bi-directional fill only, and one pass. The second one I have here is more of a mark. It doesn't engrave very much at all, but it's more what I would call a mark, and it's white. Speed of 1000, 60 power, 100 kilohertz frequency, bi-directional fill, 600 lines per inch at a 45 degree angle, and one pass. So those are the settings for the two. And now in the second part of the video, let's walk through doing an engrave on a thumb drive. I'm gonna show you how quick it engraves, how clean it engraves, and why it's a very, very profitable product for you to be selling to your business customers or to your schools or just generally on your website. When you look through some of your wholesale suppliers, you'll find that a lot of the thumb drives that you're able to get are either all metal, which by the way are my favorite because you've got four sides that you can engrave on, or a lot of them are plastic, but they have a, a metal top that kind of rolls over or covers up the end of the USB. So let's fire up the Aurora light. We're gonna jump into light burn. We're just gonna take a simple logo, which is mine, and we're gonna burn both sides. Grab our calipers and let's just measure our engraveable area. Yeah, about 0.35 of an inch. I'm gonna jump into light burn. I've just grabbed a logo, it's mine of course, just for testing. I grab my logo and I know I have a height of 0.35 inches. So I come up to the top, add in my height. And let's just make this a little bigger so we can all see it better. And first, let's do the black or the, the dark gray engrave. So I'm going to come down here into my library to metal. I'm going to go to my thumb drive, my engrave black. And I'm going to assign that to my black layer. And you'll see up above my fill layer changed. And it has all the settings for my dark engrave. Okay, I'm gonna highlight that. I'm gonna come back down here, click on laser. My Aurora light is highlighted here in my devices window and you can see here it's ready. As you've probably learned, once you click start, you've got a default setting that allows it to frame and in order to get it to engrave, you need to push start a second time, either from the machine or on screen. So let's frame it. You'll see here under live framing, there are two different options here. Frame individually and frame the image only. 
and I've got them both on. I seldom use the frame individually because I find it confusing unless I'm trying to line something up on a non-linear surface. I like the image bounds because all I see is the outline of the image. Let's go over to the machine. I'm going to grab my brand new thumb drive. I already have my guides in place. First I want to focus it, so I'm going to use my up and down Z arrows. Bring those dots together as one. That looks pretty close, I think, because of my old eyes. I'm very thankful that they also provided you a focus tool. So I'll quite often grab that focus tool and I'll check that because as you can see, my eyes fooled me. So when I use the tool, now I know for sure I'm in focus. And now I'm going to slide it into my guide. And you can see here, my engrave is way above the guide. So I'm going to use my arrow keys on the computer to try to line it up to the drive. Perfect. That'll work just fine. Now normally at this point we would drop our door down, but I'm going to leave it up for you good folks so that you can see the engrave. In order to disable that door safety, I'm going to press and hold the on button and I'm going to press and hold this top button here for about five to six seconds. Now your light is flashing red. That tells you that the door locks have been disabled. I'd highly recommend, unless you've got a big oversized piece, that you always keep your door down. I'm going to press the start button on the machine and let's see it engrave. That was a seven second engrave. I'm finding when I'm working with any brass, stainless steel, or metals, a quick wipe with isopropyl alcohol cleans up that debris super fast. It's basically a one wipe. I just take my microfiber cloth, I dab it, I give it one wipe. And it's done and ready for the box. Let's rerun it on the back and let's use that white setting, which is more of a mark. That's it. And I got white again. Excellent. Now that we're done with the engraves, let me just re-engage those door safety switches. I'm going to press my on and hold. Press this top button here. Hold for about five to six until I see the lights on the side of the machine turn green. There we go. We're re-engaged. So there you have it. There's the white engrave. And this is more of a gold engrave. And if you just leave your power and your speed settings the same, but play with the frequency, you're going to find that you can get different colors on these metals. This is more of a dark gray with a bit of an engrave feel to it. And that's more of a lighter silver. That's more of a mark. But that frequency plays a big role in what type of colors you can get off of each of these metals. So it's a thumb drive, but why is this a great product? because it's a seven second high quality engrave on the Aurora light. You're pushing these through every 10 seconds. It's a quick wipe and you're done. That means reasonably, even reasonably, you can do 240 of these through the Aurora light every hour to meet those volumetric requirements of your customer. Because usually business customers don't order five of these. They order a hundred or 200 or 250. So regardless of how you price your margins, you're going to make a good solid profit off of this. It's worth the time. Not to mention, it's a very practical product that even in today's cloud-based world, everybody needs one of these in their laptop bag or in their school bag or in their desk drawer. You always need a thumb drive. So that's a wrap for today's video. I hope it was helpful. Thanks so much for sticking around. I hope to see you on the next video. I'm Gord Potter and you've been watching LaserNug. Cheers.